Egypt's security forces have fired tear gas at angry protesters rallying against the Islamic president Mohamed Morsi. A new decree granting him sweeping powers has sparked demos across the country. The opposition has started a sit-in protest in Tahrir Square pledging to fight what it calls Morsi's power grab. And Cairo-based journalist Beltru has the details for us. What I've really seen is quite harsh tactics used by the police to stop protesters on Tahrir Square, using a lot of uh, tear gas on protesters, um, throwing rocks down on protesters from the top of buildings. Um, we've also seen Molotovs being thrown back and forth. At the same time, we've had um, demonstrations at the presidential palace um, in support of the president. Um, and also across the country, we've seen uh, pro-president and anti-president uh, protesters clashing in front of uh, Muslim Brotherhood um, headquarters. So there's been quite a lot happening. This has actually, in a strange way, united the um, opposition forces who've been quite divided recently. Um, there was mass uproar when the president uh, announced his constitution declaration, which essentially awarded him powers over the judiciary. It also said that uh, his decree and his declarations would be unappealable. And this is something that's led commentators to call him the new pharaoh and to call the document, in essence, a coup. Uh, so what we're seeing here is, is massive criticism of the president and actually quite a lot of fear that he's really becoming a new dict dictator because he actually has, right now, more powers than Mubarak ever did. The president does have a very large support base. He obviously hails from the Muslim Brotherhood, um, which is a very organized organization and very able to uh, get their protesters or, or their members to the streets, which is why we saw thousands in front of the presidential office in support of the president. So really, whether the oppositional forces can uh, convince the people um, that, uh, that what, what President Morsi is doing is wrong is, is to be seen. And President Morsi has defended the new decree granted him substantial powers. And he told his supporters he was leading Egypt on a path to freedom and democracy. But journalist Ahmed Fatih believes military rule in Egypt has simply been replaced by another king of dictatorship. What have Mohamed Morsi done? Mubarak, in the height of his power, could not even dream of achieving. Morsi is part of the Muslim Brotherhood, an Islamo-fascist group. They have control over their members and their uh, supporters. It is very simple. In a country with more than 45% of its population are illiterate, to control them in the name of religion. Egyptians are now seeing clearly they have replaced the military fascist style regime of Hosni Mubarak into the religious fascist regime of Mohammed Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood. Egyptians, they have undertaken a revolution back in January 2011 calling for three simple things, bread, freedom and social justice. Neither of the three uh, calls, demands that they have uh, called for in the, in the revolution have been uh, achieved. The state of the Egyptian economy is in shambles. The state of freedoms, it's been marginalized. People wanted to establish a democracy. They wanted to establish a solid adherence to uh, human rights. They wanted to have social justice uh, uh, applied and not to turn it uh, from the military to the religious uh, fascism.